Hello everyone, I'm Elif Bilge. This is my term project presentation, which is simulation for the construction of the Shep Logan Head Phantom image in a user-defined case space. The Shep Logan Phantom is a test image defined by Larry Shep and Benjamin Logan in their paper of the Fourier reconstruction of a head section at 1974. It is used in magnetic resonance imaging, computerized tomography, and case space simulations. Shep Logan Head Phantom is created by defining one large ellipse that includes other smaller ellipses. The large ellipse represents the brain, while the small ellipses represent pathological regions located in brain. Some of the 10 ellipses with different intensities, which are shown at the left, results in a head phantom image. Construction of head image relies on the analytical radiant transform, which is used for numerical accuracy of two-dimensional reconstruction algorithms. In the paper of radiant transform, theory and implementation, the parameters are calculated through radiant transformation for the head phantom image. In my project, I simulate the reconstruction of a raw MRI data through a projection reconstruction method using the Shep Logan head phantom image. For this purpose, I create sampled data points in case space, which are taken as projection reconstruction method and then taken as inverse Fourier transform gives to the image as a result of central limit theorem. So first, I create case space. For creating case space, I choose number of sample and field of view in centimeter. Through the reconstruction, I keep the field of view as same while changing the number of sample n. For resolution, I use the relation of the ratio of field of view to n, which is also equal to inverse ratio of k max. I first create a horizontal line in coordinate system with a range of maximum k values with n number of samples. Then, I make that line vertical and enlarge the dimension through x direction by putting the created lines horizontally. I perform the same thing for x lines by taking transpose of the vertical lines. At the end, I have sampled points at k space. Head phantom is the summation of 10 ellipses in image domain. In its frequency domain representation, is a for a freer transform of a general ellipses as the follows. An ellipse is centralized at the x1 and y1 point with rotated alpha angle with the x-axis, where a is x-axis length, b is y-axis length of ellipse, and rho is the intensity of ellipse. Then, summation of the all ellipses forms the Shep Logan head phantom image. Overall, I create case space with different number of sample points, and I reconstruct the head image by inverse mapping from the case space to the continuous image domain. For this purpose, the image location in frequency domain is the Fourier transform of projection image, and its inverse Fourier transform gives 2D image as a result of center limit theorem. The first plot is the created head image from the MATLAB function. The second plot for defined case space with the sample points. And the third plot is for reconstructed image from the case space of the second plot. For this case, n is 64. For the next one, n is 128. And for now, n is 256. At last, n is 1024. As a result, through the reconstruction, where field of view is 0.24 cm, the more sample points in case space, the more higher resolution at the image domain comes up. The reason is that number of sample points enhance the reconstruction, since each signal at the case space corresponds to the projection of the object in image domain. In other words, we can get more information of the image at the end.